Hey everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Scents, our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. <laughs> To start this video off today, I'm gonna to say, make sure that you like my video, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell so you never miss any of my future uploads. And I'm talking really fast, I'm so tired. When I reach 10K, I am giving away the Navitas Parfums and Sharita M collaboration of Mani Casonade to anyone who wins that is in the continental United States. If you're outside of the continental United States, then it will be a $100 gift card to either Sephora or Ulta. Um, hopefully you live somewhere where they have one of those top 10 vanilla fragrances by Dua. So I am going to start off with Vani de Madagascar in the number 10 spot. I do believe this may have been my favorite fragrance last year. Uh, well, second, because I know full well my favorite is Era of Vanilla. I do want to make mention of Era of Vanilla. Era of Vanilla is my favorite duo vanilla fragrance. One of my favorite vanilla fragrances on the planet. It has been sold out for far too long. Mashama's not answering my questions about when it's going to be back. I'm very frustrated. So I want to give an honorable mention to it. I can't name something I don't have in my collection anymore. The second honorable mention is Cloud of Caramel Vanilla. This is a contender to be my new favorite. This smells phenomenal. All I have is this little solo. Um, it also has been sold out for like 17 lifetimes. And it's a brand new one. So I don't understand what is going on. Maybe ingredients and stuff you can't be found. But tell us that. It's so annoying um, when I don't know what's going on. Okay, so in the number 10 spot, we have Vani de Madagascar. So let's talk about the notes of this one from, and look at, look at this, look, look at this dent. I don't play no games about my Vanille de Madagascar. So I don't, I don't know why this one dropped down so much for me. This is a smoky, almost smells like cigarette smoke. Um, but not in a bad way, even though I hate cigarette smoke and everything about cigarettes are gross and disgusting and very, very bad for your health. Um, I just, I don't know. Something has changed for me. So Vanide Madagascar in here, it says Mandarin orange, lemon, vanilla, strawberry, and woody notes. Is that it? Those are all the notes for this? Yep. Mandarin orange, lemon, vanilla, strawberry, and woodsy notes. It smells like there's so much black pepper in here or patchouli. I don't know if it's changed. The color, I feel like the color may have changed, but it doesn't do it for me like it used to. Still smells great, but it's just in my number 10 spot. Um, I do get that mandarin orange and that lemon. I, I feel like it's the zesty rinds of it. I do not pick up strawberry at the moment. I know I used to, it was to be heavy with strawberry, which is why it was so great to me. Um... And the vanilla and the woodsy notes. Now, those woodsy notes could just be bringing all of the spiciness. So, in the number nine spot, vanilla brandy. Vanilla brandy, you guys, is a phenomenal fragrance. I do not need to spray this one. Baby, you get the brandy, though. The vanilla in here is very smooth. It is beautiful. It takes a little bit of the bite out of the brandy. But ultimately, the reason this one is so low on the list to me is because the brandy is the star in this. It comes and it steals the show. I don't really feel like the vanilla in here um, could take the spotlight. Now, the vanilla does, again, tame the brandy so that you don't just smell like a drunk coming out of a bar. But baby, it cannot hold a candle to the potency of the brandy. My number eight is Marshmallow Vanilla. The notes for this are Cocoa, Tahitian Vanilla, and Blood Orange. Now, again, I say, this is called Marshmallow Vanilla. But, but it, it, there's no marshmallow in it. Number seven, Vaniglia Dreams. So there's a Vaniglia Dreams and then there's a Vanillic Dreams. So Dua's Vaniglia Dreams. This is inspired by Mazzolari's Vaniglia. Y'all know that's been a top 10 vanilla fragrance for me for life for quite some time. And yeah, this smells great. Okay, so first of all, this has to be in the seventh spot. Um, 
Vanilla Dreams in the seventh spot and Vaniglia Dreams. Do his Vaniglia Dreams definitely going to go into the sixth spot because while I like this, it is most certainly not better than Do His Vaniglia Dreams. Not at all. Vanilla Dreams is inspired by Tihota um, by Indult. The Marshmallow Vanilla is inspired by Serendipitous by Serendipity 3, in case you guys were wondering. So the Vanilla Dreams Tihota by Indult, this one, it's a safe vanilla. If you just want a simplistic, safe vanilla, that is it. I actually might put that one behind. Now I can say where it is. Number seven. So number six being um, Van Do His Vaniglia Dreams based off of Vaniglia by Mazzolari. In the number five spot, we have Accidental Vanille. Accidental Vanille. So Accidental Vanille has these notes vanilla styrax sandalwood so this one is like i have had when i was talking about doing this video it was a ton of people that told me that accidental vanilla was by far their favorite dua vanilla not for me but it is definitely top five yeah and it smells like movie butter popcorn to me that <laughs> i normally do not like that but it works very well in their fragrance for me so i'm not going to complain in at the number four spot we have sparkling vanille y'all oh i love this fragrance let me get let me give y'all the notes this thing right here is so pretty and again it steps out of that super duper sweetness that most of these do is have there's grapefruit there's caramel there's lime there's cardamom, ginger, vanilla absolute, cedar wood, and musk. This is beautiful and it is bright. It has a cleanness to it. Ooh, that mister is fantastic. It is perfection. As much as I love Limon Verde by um, Guerlain's Aqua Allegorian line for the sweetness and the really super femininity uh, of it, this is an exquisite lime note. The ginger, the cardamom. God, you know, I struggle with making this number four because I really feel like it should be number three. And I'm going to change it to number three. I'm going to tell you what I had at number three was um, accidental vanilla cream of berries. I'm going to move this one to number four simply because it fits so well in with the sweetness of the others. But let me tell you something. To the people who don't like fragrances ruined um be careful with this because i'm about to tell you what this smells like to me accidental vanilla cream of berries smells identical to captain crunch crunch berries i'm so sorry if i ruined that for y'all if y'all don't want to walk around here smelling like cereal and milk and it's not lactonic it's, it's not that it's just that i know when i eat the crunch berries there's milk in the bowl that's me but baby, if they don't smell like Captain Crunch Crunch Berries, I don't know nothing about nothing at all. The last two on this list, my number two fragrance is Caramel Sugar Elixir. This smells so good, y'all. Yeah. Now the dangerous thing about my, my, two, my number one and my number two are that they are super new to my collection. I've only worn each of them once, but they blew me away on first spray, the first day I got them. And they blew me away even more when I finally wore them, gave them a full test. So caramel sugar elixir again. So the notes with this one are burnt sugar, milk, caramel, tonka bean, vanilla, amber, and musk. Where's the problem? There's no problem. Per that's like the most perfect, almost the most perfect lineup of notes I could ever talk about. Like, like what are we doing? Okay, that's not sparkling. That's sparkling beneath fire. Like when you want to take a step away from everything just being way too sweet and you want to throw a little a little wrench in the system, sparkling vanilla is going to do it for you. Let me go ahead and spray this, even though I know I don't need to. Child, please, these atomizers is on fire today. I'm going to say the name for y'all one more time. So y'all, caramel, sugar, 
elixir. You're welcome. I, the milk note in this is so absolutely perfect. My gosh, come through. And it smell good on the stick. That's how about that life it is. Now, this last one, my number one, if you were, if you were do a hit, go ahead and type what you think it is. Of course, I won't know if you put it before or after, but I'm going to have to trust that you move on merit. Woo! I'm going to give you the notes before I tell you the name. We got some custard, cherry, sponge sugar, marzipan, milk, and cotton candy. Come through with the French macaroon. French macaroon, guys. Just forget about it. Just forget about it. It's it's amazing. Um, I have zero complaints about my top five. But the way that I appreciate my one and two is different. French macarons opens up and the room is just perfection. It's just perfection for the French macarons. Let me um, because. Is this it? What I do with it that quick with my French macarons go? Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and spray this. Man, it's so much in there right now. <laughs> and the thing I love about it is every new duo I spray, it kills the game. It just goes, okay, everybody that was sitting here, you had your turn. Here I come. I'm coming through. I love that. French macarons. Today. Ooh, the Adam, I don't even want to waste it. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Come through. It has a fresh and cleanness to it that is stunning. Oh, the custard, the marzipan, the milk. And it says it's cotton candy in here. I'm going to tell you right now. I feel like they using the cotton candy from cotton candy. They do it and that there's white musk in here too. Because again, it's pulling in a clean, fresh linen type of way while being a man. But you know what? Let me tell you the truth though. Um, I might have to switch them up too. Look, what have I done? Am I, I think I'm going to make caramel sugar elixir number one and French macarons number two. Because I am the sweet girl. Like the sweetness means more to me than anything else. I keep looking at these notes and just going through my mouth when I'm smelling the air right now. I am paying attention to you guys. So I love you so much. So that's my top 10, guys. Again, this order, absolute garbaggio, because I'm going to switch it up every which way I feel like it, depending on my mood and what I want to smell. I apologize in advance. It is what it is. If you are still here, please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel. Select the notification bell so that you never miss any of my future uploads. Share me across all your social media platforms so we can hurry up and get me to 10K and I can do this giveaway. And as always, I love talking to you guys in the comments. So if you have smelled any of these, if you have a nice duo collection yourself and you have a top three or top five vanillas, go ahead and drop them in the, in the comments. You know I love talking to you guys. Until then. Bye.